Hello guys and welcome back, welcome back to World of Tanks, but something slightly different. We are actually on World of Tanks PlayStation 4. That's right, I went and bought a PlayStation 4 with my very own hard-earned cash, and, um, and I'm going to have a little go on it. Um, yeah, I just kind of fancy picking one up on a bit of a whim, as you do. I hadn't bought any sort of boys' toys for a while, so I, um, <laughs> I, I treated myself. And, um, and the reason I'm showing you this, um, this tiny, crappy little tier 3 tank, well, I mean, I don't mean it specifically as crappy, I just mean that I, I think most tier 3 tanks are kind of crappy. They're all just, they're tanks with guns, um, and you drive around and you, you shoot the other ones until you get to the higher tiers, and then it gets a bit more fun and exciting. But what I'm going to do on my PlayStation 4 is, as my garage on Xbox is just complete chaos, um, and I never know what tank to use. I've got 40 or 50 tanks in there. Loads of premium tanks. Um, I thought I'd just try and focus on PlayStation, you know. We're going to focus. So, I'm going to grind up the E100 line. I've never done the E100 before. I wasn't going to go for the mouse, but that's not on PlayStation 4 yet. So, um, that'll come next, I guess, when they release that. But um, I've also never had the E100. So, I'm going to get it. Um, I'm going to do a Road to Tier 10 series. People ask about that sometimes. So, um, so here's number one. Welcome, welcome. That was the intro, very long intro, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I didn't start at tier 1, well I mean I didn't video tier 1, because you, you don't see that really. And, even, and tier 2, I mean it's just like, tier 3 is pushing it to be honest. Um, but the, anyway, anyway, this is the Panzer, uh, what, Kalpf, Kalpfwagen, KPFW 38T. Panzer 38T we shall just call it. And, uh, and I got three little rounds to bring you, very short ones, um, just to give you a the last one's pretty crazy. The last one I have a beast. The first two are just kind of general gameplay. So stick around and watch the one at the end. That is the best one. But um, yeah, I just want to give you guys a bit of a feel. I'm gonna like just do these little kind of 15, 20 minute maybe videos. There we go. I'm dead. I shot some people. 18 damaging shots. Um, that'll get us a bit of XP. Let's spin on and we'll look at what we got at the end of that, and then we'll go on to the next round. So there we go, we got 2,500 XP with our daily double and some kind of op. We came second. Oh yeah, by the way, I can't have my normal gaming tag. It wouldn't let me have it on PlayStation 4. It didn't say it's already taken. I think it maybe thought like Don Tomo. It's got homo, maybe close to homo. Maybe that's flagged for being inappropriate. Who knows? Shouldn't this is what happens when you're um when you pick a gaming tag when you're uh, when you're 15 and don't think these things through about um about possible censored words 15 years in the future. But anyway, so that was battle number one. We got a decent amount of XP. Let's jump into battle number two. And here we are on Mountain Pass. So, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like a bad little tank. It's got a few different guns. We're on the autoloader here. I think the last round we were on the top gun, which is, what is that, the 4.7 centimeter. All of its 4.7 centimeters of might and fury. But um, but the moment we're on the autoloader, yeah, it's all right. I mean, I, I, you don't you don't review these tanks, right? I mean, if you guys want to review on this tank? Maybe just go and read the wiki. Realistically, you're not gonna you're not gonna be on this tank for more than a few games. I think I got through this tank in. Well, I got three rounds on this, and I think maybe one or two of us. So maximum five games with a premium count and some ops. So I don't know, seven or eight games, maybe ten if you kind of have a bit of a bad run. It's gonna be um. It's gonna be plain sailing. But what I am looking forward to, after um yeah, some nice early shots on this guy. After uh blah, 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 we have got through this tank, and then there's a bit of a run of other tanks with fairly weird and unrememberable names. They're all very similar to other weird and unmemorable names on German tank tree. Eventually we get through all the the Panzer 38Ts and uh, all the other weird ones, and then we end on all the VK 30 something, some VK this and VK that. Eventually, we get to one with a nice name like Tiger, and that is really the one I'm looking forward to the most. I never really used the Tiger much on Xbox, so um, so can't wait to get that. I went straight to the Tiger 2 by the Panther. Uh, I went up the whole medium line and then unlocked the Tiger 2 separately and then never really got around to using it much. So I'm a bit of a Tiger noob, looking forward to that, it's going to be fun. But yeah, so um, so this is World of Tanks PlayStation 4. Um, 
it looks about the same really to me it looks looks exactly the same to be honest um, I've been playing it on I've played it on my projector I've played it on my nice high resolution monitor on my computer yeah it looks really nice it looks really nice like the Xbox one version does I can't see any difference I haven't done a, um, a side by side video comparison of them to sort of squint for details but um yeah it looks exactly the same to me it plays exactly the same as one would probably expect really it's been a bit, little bit weird getting used to the controls. I haven't used a PlayStation control for a long time. I used to have PlayStation 2, or several PlayStation 2s. Anyone who had a PlayStation 2 probably knows that they got knackered very, very easily. I think I went through three while I was at uni. To the stage where we were had to open it up and clean the laser every time we wanted to play Pro Evo. And then if it did start, we'd just leave the console on for several days, because if we turn it off, we might never get it on again. There we go, so this is um, a typical tier 3 battle where everyone just goes crazy and we've driven around here with barely an opponent to find. Most people have ended up dead already. Um, and I'm just charging in, just really trying to get as much damage as possible, maximise their XP so I can get through this tank and get up the line to the high tiers as quickly as possible. And I knew that at least some of these artillery are going to be up here. There's number 1, nice easy damage. He's going to get killed by my teammate, so I'll start thinking about this guy. Who is kind of looking this way, but he's really good at me, and um, and he's got no chance. Somehow my teammate managed to bounce several shots from the priest there, and we move up. Surprisingly not finding artillery number three, or at least not yet anyway. And there's our man. Shoot the priest in the butt, and reload. And finish him off. Easy. So there we go, 45 damage ribbons of that one. I was going to barrel down there at full speed, then realised I'd probably hit that bump and um, explode in a giant burning ball of tank wreck and flame. So there we go, 1800 XP on that one with a couple of ops again. I haven't, as I'm not really doing any other tanks on PlayStation 4, I've got all the ops to play with. Lovely jubbly top of the leaderboards. So let's jump on to the round number three, which is really the one that I wanted to show you. So here we are on Mines, one of the great classic maps on World of Tanks, one of the earliest ones put in on Xbox. Um, I'm, not, I'm not actually sure what maps they have on PlayStation 4. Do they have them all? I'm guessing they don't. I've only really played um, a few tiers. Yeah, I've no idea. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. Let me know. I also, oh, I almost forgot. This crew, I have got the best crew name that you have ever seen in World of Tanks. This crew, oh my, oh my, and it's so good. I get to take it all the way through to tier 10. It's gonna be my E100 crew. I'm gonna love it forever, and it's gonna be amazing. I've got a T3488 I bought in the, um, uh, what's it called, the Founders Packs. There we go, we've got to see a different uh, gun there. I actually managed to bounce a couple of shots. There we go, kill number one. Sorry, Cannabis for Men 91. You're down, mate, you're down. I don't know if that's like a, is that like a kind of shampoo brand? Like, I don't know. L'Oreal for men, L'Oreal for women, Cannabis for men. Maybe it's like blue cannabis instead of uh, green. And you get like pink cannabis for the leaders. Anyway, my crew name uh, is bloody fantastic. I'm not gonna drop it in this video. Some people have already seen it. I tweeted about it, there's a picture of it. If you wanna go and dig through our Twitter feed, you can see it. Um, otherwise, I'll let you know in the next video. But um, why not let me know in the comments what your best crew name in World of Tanks is? I want to know the silliest, weirdest crew name that you've managed to get. If it beats uh, this one I've got in here, I'll be extremely impressed. Because I think this is better than anything you guys have got. And you'll love it when you see it. Lamb was blown away. <laughs> there we go, we've got three kills already. I'm trying to get this guy. So we're trying to read where he comes through. I reckon he's come out there. There's some crap in the way, which I'm not. But thankfully, he drives up a little um, little rock and we take him down. There we go. We've got a trophy. I guess that's like an achievement on Xbox. I don't know. I'm a PlayStation noob. What do I know? We've got four kills, though, and it's looking good. We're charging in. We're wrecking people with this gun. I'm trying to find a little shot there, but he's already down. Yeah, let me know. Um, let me know your good crew names. I'm I'm curious. Me and Lamb love collecting weird crew names. We uh, we often sit there and just keep re-rolling free 50 uh, 
Grand Silver Cruise until we get stupid names. But this one just came up. I re-rolled a bunch to try and get a good one. Nothing came up. Then I got onto, I think, the tank before this and just put a new crew in it because it was um, it was cheap. And then, lo and behold, this name came up. It blew my mind. My childish little mind. <laughs> there we go. Look, while I've been uh, rabbiting on, that is kill number six. Um... But yeah, I don't know if there's really any tips to get from these these videos. I mean, it's it's low tier, like I said in the one before. You're just trying to maximize your your damage. You're trying to uh, you're kind of working on the assumption that most people are going to be crazy. Your team's not really going to work as a team because everyone drives around like nutters at low tier, especially tier three and below. Um, so I'm really just kind of driving in there and just trying to take advantage of everyone being crazy, probably being inexperienced players. And um, not do anything too, too mental. And there we go. Look, we've got seven kills. How about that? Got a nice little. I mean, you don't get a devastator medal as it's only tier three. So, um, so unfortunately, none of that. But, um, but it was good fun. Well, it's good really. If you got a devastator medal for that, there'd be, uh, there'd be everyone would have them. There'd be tons of them everywhere. Not a mastery badge though. Only a ninety-five percent. But there you go. Not bad. I think that was my very first Top Gun medal. And there we go, look at that. 1,000 base XP for Damon Grill. Lovely jubbly. Um, nice. Well, uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'm going to do a similar video. We'll go into a little bit more tactical commentary as you get to higher tiers. And there's a bit more tactics and less um, less kind of crazy low tier stuff going on. But I'm going to try and keep doing videos of this, um, this whole tank line, each tier as we go up. It's probably not going to be any more of this tank because I've already unlocked the next one. There's going to be a few of the next one. And then as the tiers get higher, there'll be more and more. So once we hit the Tiger and the Tiger 2, you can expect quite a few videos of those before I unlock the next one. I'm going to try not to free XP through anything. Um, I'm just going to save up my free XP that I earn through the game and then use that maybe to get past some of the, the crappy guns on some of the tanks higher up the tier. But we'll see. We'll see it develops. I'm going to try not... I'm not going to buy loads of premium tanks. I'm just going to stick with my T3488 and my E100 line. And we'll see how we go on. I think it'll be really fun. So, um, so yeah, World of Tanks PlayStation 4. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. That really does help us out a lot. And we really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what ridiculous crew names you have. Because I want to know. Nice one. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Thank you.